Good morning. Thank you all for showing up. Uh, we have just completed a, a comprehensive briefing of the uh, statewide response to the weather conditions and the partnerships and the local response here in, in, in LA and Los, in Los Angeles County. And um, the six uh, counties that the governor has declared a state of emergency for. So uh, we would like to talk to you a little bit about that briefing and uh, to start us off uh, this afternoon or this morning is Supervisor Michael Antonovich uh, who represents some of the areas affected by the station fire and of course now uh, the weather conditions that we have uh, this week and some coming in next week. Thank you. Well, thank you very much and we especially want to thank Governor Schwarzenegger for being here this morning and also I want to uh, thank uh, uh, the Attorney General who was the acting governor yesterday for signing the declaration with the authorization that Governor Schwarzenegger had authorized uh, Jerry Brown to do. And on behalf of the County of the Board of Supervisors, Supervisor Yaroslavsky is here with me. Uh, we are going to uh, ratify that at our Board of Supervisors meeting on Tuesday. Uh, once again, uh, what that declaration is going to allow us to do, we're going to be able to weigh regulations which may hinder response and recovery methods. Uh, we're going to make recovery assistance available under the California Disaster Assistance Act, and we're going to expedite the access to federal resources and disaster relief programs, including the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, several cities were involved with this effort, as you know, uh, in uh, Sierra Madre and Glendale, along with the unincorporated areas in the Antelope Valley, had a, uh, took a very serious hit along with portions of the city of Los Angeles. In Acton, uh, uh, there were 51 homes that had been evacuated. La Cunada, Flint Ridge had 251 homes. La Crescenta, 217 homes. Glendale, 348 homes. Uh, Tahunga Foothill, 803 homes. And Sierra Madre, 321 homes. The Los Angeles County Public Works, who are responsible for the flood controls within the County of Los Angeles, have been working 24 hours a day to keep those channels open and clean. And we really commend those uh, individuals who are working, along with the County uh, Sheriff and Fire Department, who have done a superb job, along with our neighboring town councils. Uh, they were directly involved in the planning and preparation, and those are the town councils that represent uh, Acton, uh, La Crescenta, um, the area is Cagle Canyon, Juniper Hills, and w working together as a team with the cities and the county, uh, we're able to prevent a lot of fatalities and future damage that would have occurred as a result of that disastrous uh, station fire, which uh, claimed the life of two of our great firemen and in turn uh, destroyed over 160,000 acres of land. And, and as a result, uh, we're paying that price today. Uh, and I would just add that had the uh, county fire department been in charge at that time, we would not have had that devastation and where we are today. But uh, we want to thank the strong cooperation efforts from Glendale. Glendale has done a superb job along with the uh, Sierra Madre uh, local law enforcement and the county and the participation with the city of Los Angeles who have also been involved. But it's been a team effort and as a result, Governor, this is how a team can go ahead and save life and save property and why we need to continue this type of cooperation and partnership as we face uh, the other storms and problems in the 2010. But thank you, Governor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I'd like to introduce our great Governor, Arnold right. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, First of all, let me just say thank you for, to a few people. Uh, we just got a briefing um, of the current situation that we're in. Secretary Matt Bettenhausen, I want to say thank you very much. Where is Matt? I'm right behind, right behind, behind me, who is really a great, great leader always in this emergency situation. Then Keith Harrison uh, with the LA County uh, Office of Emergency Management. We want to thank him also for the great, great uh, leadership. Mayor Viragosa, who is always on top of the situation, it's great to see you here. And to be part of the briefing, Supervisor Andanovich and Supervisor Yaroslavsky, both of them uh, uh, always been great, great partners. Thank you also for, for being here today. And uh, then Chief Beck, Chief Peak, and uh, Chief Friedman, uh, they all were part of the briefings. And we also have here uh, Senator Liu, Assemblyman De Leon, and uh, Assemblyman Portantino, and there's uh, many others that are standing back there that they maybe haven't mentioned, but uh, they all are uh, working very hard in order to, uh, you know, fight those kind of problems that we have. And over the last 
several days. Of course, California has been pounded by a whole series of winter storms uh, and rains, and the storms have brought wind gusts up to 80 miles across our mountains and canyons. And of course, uh, because of that, major highways and roads have been closed and flights have been postponed or grounded and thousands of homes and businesses have lost power. As you have heard already, more than 2,100 uh, homes have been evacuated. And uh, sadly and unfortunately, some people have lost their lives. I also and Maria and I send our thoughts and prayers to the victims and to their loved ones. Uh, I also want the, the people of Los Angeles and the people of the whole state of California to know that we do everything that we can as a, in a joint effort in order to help the people, to protect their properties and to protect lives. That's the bottom line here. Yesterday we declared the state of emergency in five counties in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, San Francisco and Siskiyou. And today, this morning, we're also going to uh, declare the state of emergency in San Bernardino County. Uh, this will cut through the red tape and it will, make, uh, it will free up additional state resources, which is so important uh, to assist with the response and recovery efforts. Uh, I also want to remind everyone that it is extremely important that when you hear from law enforcement or from any emergency uh, personnel uh, that you should evacuate, uh, you know, do that. As a matter of fact, whatever directions that you get from them, uh, do exactly that. Um, uh, since Sunday, in the Los Angeles area has had four to seven inches of rain along the coast in the valley. We had uh, over seven inches of rain uh, in the mountains, and we had two and a half to three and a half inches of rain uh, in the desert, and 18 to 36 inches of snowfall in the mountains, and that is below 7,000 feet and above 7,000 feet. We had up to three feet of snowfall. Again, I want to say thank you again to so many people here, law enforcement and uh, public safety officials that uh, worked uh, so hard in order to help the people and to, to, to save their lives and save their properties. And also the hand crews uh, from Cal Fire and from the Department of Correction and Rehabilitation uh, for performing flood fighting and debris removing duties uh, in the five counties. And now it will be also uh, San Bernardino County as the sixth county. Uh, uh, California Emergency Management Agency, we want to thank them also. They've been very, very effective. Like I said, uh, Secretary Bettenhausen, has been a great leader and in the Los Angeles County Office of Emergency Management. We want to thank them also for their great leadership. As you have heard already uh, from the supervisor, there is a lot of people that are out of power. There's currently 82,000 customers that, are out of, uh, that don't have power statewide. 30,000 in the southern region, uh, 36,000 in the coastal region, and 16,000 in the inland region. So this is uh, the, all the information. And I would like to, I will answer then some questions if you have them later on. 